Hey there, Variety here. Welcome to today's video in which we're going to be doing a full raid guide for Archdraught Elite Raid for Taurus Land. This raid I found a lot of fun and has a lot of different interesting mechanics. So today I'm going to explain each of them in turn to give you all the knowledge you need to successfully clear this raid. Okay, so let's get to it. Before we start, I want to talk about just some of the general main mechanics you want to keep in mind. So somebody needs to go to the NPC and grab the buffs from them. Teams take turns to go into portals to defend the sea. So in the middle of the room, there's going to be a portal that spawns. You walk on top of it and you go inside and defend from the ads. You will see it in the video. So you send in one side of your raid team and then your other side and you keep changing. The tank should keep the boss away from the green stuff on the ground because it can summon mechanics in the green stuff and it will wipe your party. The boss should always be turned away from the raid team. Interrupts are going to need to be used on the boss. It's helpful if the DPS have these to back up the tank just in case. And the healers must constantly dispel people when they get effects such as Root. Okay, so let's get into the fight. So let's get this raid started. We decide to main tank with the Frost Barb and I am off tanking as the Paladin. The first attack is going to be Bear Claw. Basically face the boss away from the raid so this doesn't affect them. So if he's going to use heal here, make sure you interrupt it, and then he's going to use wild roar right after it. In a moment, he's going to summon four shadows. They're going to put a green area and a red area. Stay out of the red and run into the green. He's also going to use starfall, which basically means just move. You know, you're just dodging mechanics here. Run into the green, and then he's going to summon his adds. You need to kill these adds, otherwise they're going to heal the boss. So really high priority on killing these adds before they reach him. As you can see here, it's saying bound by root and tangle to spell it means the healer needs to dispel the DPS or whoever's getting stuck. It's going to use another bear claw to so stay away from the main tank. And soon he's going to summon a portal in the middle of the map. When the portal comes up, you need one side of your team to run into the portal and then kill the ad, which is about to show up now. So here's the ad. Make sure the DPS doesn't attack this first so as not to drag the aggro. Okay, so we're going to kill this ad. And then when he dies, it's going to summon a shield, and it's going to protect us. After the ad dies, it's going to summon a bunch of small ads. While you're killing the small ads and keeping them off the heart of the ancestral tree, you're going to get summoned back into the main battle. What you need to do when you get summoned back into the main battle is that the tank that's currently in here needs to taunt the boss so the other tank and the other side of the party can run into their own portal and do what you're doing right now. Okay, you can see the ads coming up. It's going to spawn a couple of these. You don't have to kill these. It's kind of padding. You're basically just keeping them off the heart until it pulls you back out, which it's going to do in a moment. They don't really do a lot of damage here, so it's, you know, it's not that difficult. Here we are back in the main raid. You'll see the green stuff on the ground. You've got to make sure that the boss isn't near that because if he does his four summons inside the green, you're in a lot of trouble. Okay, so I'm going to tank the boss here and I'm going to pull it away from the green. Very, very important, because I don't want the shadows to land in the green again. That's what happened last time. The decaying arrows basically makes it so if you're the furthest away from the boss, he keeps hitting you with it, and it makes you take more damage. So if you're taking a lot of stacks of that, just move in a bit closer than your other teammates. So at this point, you've seen all of the stuff that's going to happen in phase one. He's just going to keep repeating the abilities until... His HP gets pushed down, and then he's going to push you into Phase 2. When he pushes you into Phase 2, his abilities are going to get extra effects. So, his Starfall drops bombs on the ground, so you need to keep moving. The Bear Claw will do a much wider area. And the healing adds that you kill that try to run towards him, they'll explode when you kill them. So, you got to be careful of that. Also, when you dispel people when they're rooted, they'll actually explode and do a bit of AoE damage. You need to be careful when you're dispelling people as well. But it's just the same abilities with slightly extra effects, usually related to AoE damage when you complete or fix the mechanic. Welcome to Phase 2. As I mentioned earlier, each of his abilities become more powerful. So for example, the Starfall does a bit of AoE on the ground. 
when you dispel it does aoe damage around the person the bear claw as you can see there is much wider and you still have to interrupt most of these mechanics that you already know the only thing you really need to keep in mind here is the shield mechanic so the shield mechanic gets summoned by the npcs and there's only a limited amount of shields what this means is that it's a hard dps check if you don't kill the boss before you run out of shields you are going to wipe but basically all you need to do here is keep doing the same mechanics over and over and over again and you either have the dps to achieve this or you do not. congratulations on clearing the rage i'll see you next time